What is up guys, this is Frostbite, and today there is one simple reason I'm doing this commentary. To preach to the PC gamers about the awesomeness of the ESDF key setup for video games, and especially first person shooters. This is gonna be a really direct, uh, straightforward, and short video, and by the end of it, I hope that I have convinced you that ESDF is better than WASD. As y'all should know, for first person shooters on the PC, WASD and ESDF are ways to move your player front, backwards, left, and right. And as you all should know, WASD is a standard keyboard binding for games that come out, and that started with one of the first FPS's, Quake. It worked well in Quake because there were not uh, buttons and you have to press back then. Uh, there were no reloading, uh, there was no reloading, no leaning around corners, or even actions like uh, opening doors or activating buttons were simply done by walking up to them. But now there's a need for all these functions and more, so we have to move away from the outdated WASD. The only prevailing reason for you to switch to ESDF is because you have easy access to much more keys and that helps you a lot. You gain access to 9 keys. W, Q, A, Z, X, R, T, G, V. As opposed to the W, A, S, D setup, which gives you access, quick access to six keys, not counting the side buttons. You need buttons that are easy to access because fast reactions are everything in first person shooters. You need to think fast and shoot fast. The good thing that about the E, S, D setup is that although it moves your hand a bit more to the right, you're still in full access of the shift, tab, caps lock, control keys, etc. Which can be really useful. With the ESDS setup, you can do what your enemies can't do. And even if they manage to do it, to do it, say leaning to your right and turning on your flashlight while reloading, you do it faster and more efficiently. And as an added bonus, on most keyboards, there's a little bump on the F key. If you use ESDF, that bump can help you reposition your hand, so it's always in the best position to pwn. I know most people out there are probably used to the WASD key binding. I did, but after switching to ESDF, although it was really awkward at first, I got used to it and now I'm not turning back. Of course, if you're a really casual gamer, you probably won't give a shit about what I'm talking about now. But if you actually care about your game, you're probably convinced any questions, objections, suggestions, hit me up in the comments below. Like this video, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Peace.